Ah, greeting fellow sleuths and welcome to Mystery March 2024. So this month we're going to take a look at Season 1 of the CW's Nancy Drew series. So let's get things started with the very first episode of said show. In 2000, Lucy Sable apparently falls from the cliffs to her death on the night she was crowned Sea Queen. In 2018, Nancy Drew is crowned Sea Queen, and while in a graveyard with friends, she thinks she sees a ghost. As a child, Nancy sees her parents dig up a chest in the backyard in the middle of the night. Nancy grows up with a sense of curiosity and knack for looking into mysteries and solving them. Nancy's mother is diagnosed and died from pancreatic cancer. Nancy stops solving mysteries and defers Columbia. Present, in the present day, Nancy and Nick hook up at the garage. Afterward, Nick wants to know her and shares details about being a former football star, but she brushes him off. She's late for a waitress. She's late for waitressing at the claw. George has a grudge against Nancy from high school. To Nancy, he seems like a harmless stoner and best Marvin, a clumsy trust fund kid. As they close, Nancy sets her phone to record the fireworks. Brian Hudson arrives, and George Fan reopens for his group. George is thrown by Tiffany's presence and gives Nancy her order. Nancy brings Ryan, Ryan's wife, Tiffany Hudson, who's waiting by the car, a plate of food and takes a wine order. Inside the restaurant, the power goes out. Nancy brings Tiffany the glass of wine, finds her on the ground and calls for help. George, Bess, Ace, and Nick all come out just as police sirens approach. Chief McGinnis questions the five teens and brings everyone except Ace and Ryan's group to the stage for further questioning. McGinnis antagonizes George about her alcoholic mom, Victoria Fan, Bess's shoplifting change, and points out that Nick's done hard time, which Nancy didn't know about. Detective Karen Hart and McGinnis play Tiffany's 911 call to Nancy as they question her. Nancy walks out because she used to being charged. On the way out, Nancy runs to her father, again because Karen called him and shoots Nick a dirty look, and they argue about he and they argue about how he neglected her after her mother's death. Nancy walks home alone and sees a glimpse of Lucy Sable's ghost as a creepy song plays. At home, Nancy checks her phone and realizes she recorded Tiffany's final moments. At the claw, Nancy shows her recording George, Bess, and Ace to get their opinion. Ace agrees with Bess's assumption that Tiffany was killed by a ghost. Nick arrives and pushes Nancy into acknowledging their relationship and an argument about his past. The group begins brainstorming how to go about investigating, but Nancy pulls out because she doesn't do that anymore. Nick just believes her and George admits Nancy is different since her mom's death. That night, Nancy brings her to Ryan's house, triggering a silent alarm. In a hidden compartment in Tiffany's nightstand, she finds a necklace and a note. Security arrives to investigate the alarm, and Nick breaks in to help Nancy get out undetected, and Nancy loses her head in the bushes as they sneak out. Nick drives her home and offers to tell her about his past, <coughs> If she tells him about hers, but Nancy doesn't want it to be serious. Upset, Nick drives away. At the claw, Nancy asks George about the necklace she found, which is a mariner's charm. Best Nancy and George go off in search of answers, ignoring these when he begs each of them to tag along. They find the secret compartment in the charm that's a seahorse, like the one at the sea on the Sea Queen crown. From the note, they realize Tiffany was visiting a medium, Harriet, Gr Harriet Grosset. They visit her, and during a seance, Harry appears to actually become Harry appears to actually become possessed by another spirit, chanting, "Find the dress." Karen brings Nancy's hat from Ryan's house to Carson, telling him to cover it up because Nancy is going to make herself look guilty. They kiss, and Nancy walks in and sees them together, upsetting her and triggering another fight with her father. She goes to Nick's place and finally opens up to him. The next morning, Nick drives her back home, and her father sees them together. He warns Nancy Sealy from Nick, and she realizes that her father was Nick's lawyer. Her father leaves for work, and Nancy breaks her father's filing cabinet to get Nick's records, discovering that Nick was found guilty of manslaughter after the testimony of a single witness, the murder victim, Tiffany Hudson. Nick returns to pick up Nancy's mother's broken car to see if he can get running again, and Nancy pretends everything's okay, but Nick is now a real suspect. In the ending montage, Nancy begins documenting the case, considering everyone's motives. George visits Ryan Hudson at his house in a secret tryst, which Ace records and texts to Chief McGinnis. While working on the car, Nick finds a hidden package. Bess, instead of living with a rich aunt like she told everyone, is actually living out of a van, and she somehow has Tiffany's ring. The power goes out at Nancy's home, and the attic door 
drops open. Up in the attic, Nancy peels away wallpaper to reveal, to reveal words about Lucy Sable, and she finds the trunk her parents dug up when she was a child. She opens the truck to find a bloody dress. As she places her flashlight down to look more closely at the dress, and the light illuminates, and the light illuminates Lu Lucy's ghost behind her. Dun dun dun! So let's take a look at some trivia surrounding this episode. The pilot was filmed in Vancouver, Canada from March 25th to April 9th, 2019, under the working title The Haunting of Nancy Drew. The first racer that Nancy says she saw was finding a missing girl held captive by a hidden staircase. The Hidden Staircase was the second Nancy Drew book. Also, a movie called Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase was released earlier the same year that this episode aired. This case gets further explored in the mid-season finale. The Street River Heights that the Drew family lives on is the same town, the name of the town they live in the book's adaptations. The deleted scene featured a flashback where Lucy Sable watched over Nancy in the claw with the rain on the windows adding ambiance to the scene. It was to show that Lucy had, been had always been watching over Nancy. However, it had to be covered time. Also, the original script for the pilot had Nancy and Ace's original first scripted on-screen conversation, which later got cut from the episode as they never shot the scene. But Nancy made a brief reference of it in her voiceover when describing the claw and her co-workers to the audience. So, as the first episode to this to the Nancy Drew series, it's pretty darn good and definitely sets the stage for the overall mystery of the season, so yeah. So overall, I give the pilot episode of Nancy Drew, uh, I give it four deer stalkers out of five. But anyway, tune in a bit as we took the next episode, The Secret of the Old Morgue. So until then, remember everyone, the game's afoot.